What are night splints and do they work? A night splint is something that you wear at night time whilst you're sleeping to help with pain first thing in the morning, which is a common symptom with people, most people that have plantar fasciitis. So there are lots of different designs of night splints that you can purchase and most of these are available online. Um, the design is, um, although the design can vary, the general aim of night splints is, is the same. And what, what you're trying to achieve with a night splint is to stop the foot from falling down into a plantar flex position. So I'll just use my hand to give you a, a demonstration here. So when we, if this is the, the back of the leg and this here is, is the hand and this is the, the bottom of the foot. When we sleep at night time, the foot will sort of drop into this downwards flex position so it will be in a relaxed position this is what we call plantar flexed um, the calf muscle at the back of the leg runs down the leg and then attaches to the heel bone which is where the plantar fascia is found when the foot is in this downwards flexed position <clears throat> the calf muscle will shorten it will contract concentrically so it will shorten up like this when we get out of bed first thing in the morning though the position of the foot and the, an the <coughs> ankle angle needs to change so it will go from being plantar flexed to a neutral position which is sort of like a nine more towards a 90 degree angle and this is just to allow us to get our heel onto the ground so that we can start walking but if your foot's been like this over let's say eight hours that you've been sleeping and the muscle becomes tight Going from this position to this position all of a sudden produces an excessive stretch and strain and then that pulls and irritates the plantar fascia. And this is why symptoms are particularly very bad first thing in the morning. So the general aim of a night splint is to hold the foot and ankle more towards a 90 degree angle. So this can be achieved with a, a night splint which runs along the back of the back of the leg and up the bottom of the foot here. So it physically holds the foot like that. You can get other night splints which run across the shin and across the front of the ankle and then loops around the ball of the foot here. And again, the aim is that it will hold the foot in this position. Some night splints are made from plastic materials. So they can be a bit rigid and a bit bulky and some people find them uncomfortable. You can also get a sock variation. So it's a bit like wearing a long, a long sock up towards the knee. So think a bit like a flight sock or a, or a stocking. And there's a, a loop and a piece of material which pulls the foot and toes back like this as in addition to flexing the ankle. This will stretch the plantar fascia and the calf muscle and because it's a sock made from it, like a, a fabric material, it's not as big and bulky and some people do find that preferable. So there isn't a single best night splint because different people respond differently to different designs. So some people prefer the splint which runs down the back of the leg, some people prefer a splint which runs across the front of the leg, and some people prefer the sock variation. All three are incredibly effective at helping with pain first thing in the morning. The biggest challenge with night splints is being able to tolerate them and it does take a bit of getting used to. Uh, so you might find the first time you ever try a night splint, you might tear it off after one hour of wearing it at night and you feel like you can't tolerate it. But if you be patient, you'll probably find that your tolerance can improve. So it should become more more tolerable or you get used to it um, if you keep trying. So the second time you wear it, you might find you can wear it for four hours in the night before you wake up and feel the need to take it off. And then by the third night, you might find you can wear it all night long. If you are able to tolerate it, it usually is incredibly effective at alleviating that pain first thing in the morning. And as well as alleviating the pain, you're also preventing micro tearing of the plantar fascia because we're not experiencing that, that sudden increased stretch and strain. So it also helps with the recovery process as well as the symptoms. So I'm personally, am a big advocate of night splints and most of my patients with plantar fasciitis, I recommend a night splint for. So it's definitely something to consider. Another useful tip is not to over, over tighten the night spin. So as the general aim is to take the foot out of this plantar flex position into more towards a neutral position, some people will be tempted to um, increase the tension applied to the splint so that it creates more of a stretch. Uh, and that makes perfect sense. However, we've got to consider how long we're wearing the splint for. If we were asking, you know, asking of ourselves to be able to wear this this device for eight hours long. If it's strapped up too tight, it might be providing a, a nice stretch, but is your body gonna be able to tolerate that stretch for eight hours? 
Sometimes what's better is to use the splint loosely to start with. So if this is the natural resting position of the foot and wearing the splint to a moderate amount of tension takes it from this position to this position, that in itself is still going to be helpful. It might not be flexing the foot all the way back, but it's still gonna help with that pain in the morning. And what that might mean is that realistically, you can wear the splint throughout the duration of the night. So it's best off to start off wearing it slightly looser than what you think you can tolerate. If you find that you can tolerate that perfectly fine, then it's absolutely fine to then increase the intensity of the splint so you can increase the tension based on your tolerance. So a common error I find is that people start off with wearing it too tight, they lose their patience, then they just give up and then they don't wear it anymore. And unfortunately they don't then get the benefits out of using it. So just another bit of advice which I think will help with tolerance for night splints. Hope you found this video, video informative and interesting. Uh, please feel free to share and for more free resources, please check out the website www.thehillpainexpert.com. Thanks for watching.